Amazingly, you've heard of a 90 day same as cash. You know, electronic stores have 90 day same as cash. You have, you know, 80% of the people that sign up for 90 day same as cash do not pay it off in 90 days. You've heard of no payments for a year or free interest for a year, same, same statistic. They do not pay off the purchase in that year period of time. What happens then is the contract goes back to the initial date and for instance, 90 days same as cash, you end up with a loan at 33%. You would never sign up for a loan at 33%, right? But you did. How about going into a retail store, you have cash in your hand or a visa and they stop you. They don't say thank you. What do they do first? They say, do you happen to have our card? We'll be glad to take 15% off this purchase right now if you apply for our card, correct? Red lights should be going off in your head because now you realize that store is not in the retail business. They could care less if they make a penny on that or even if they lose money on that, they're in the banking business. Because at 21% interest, and by the way, retail stores are not 21% interest, usually 23, 24% interest, they know that the chances are you will not pay it off when the bill comes and you'll continue to use the card at the store and they would like a lifetime stream of incoming from you at 21.7% interest. Write this down, there is no freedom without financial freedom. No freedom without financial freedom. Did you know the Bible says more about money than heaven? Did you know that? Well, when God spoke to us, when we were in that financial crunch for nine years in debt and got to the place of, at the end of ourselves and God, we began to seek God, and he spoke to us and said it was our fault. We didn't know how the kingdom operated. We began to apply what God was teaching us and we were out of debt in two and a half years. We started paying cash for our cars, built our dream house, started companies and began to, you know, had the ability to give thousands of dollars away, uh, you know, we were, we, had, we were free, and we made it a mission to help people understand what we learned and how to avoid being in that place we were for nine years, antidepressants, and surviving like that, which is hell on earth. It's been our mission ever since. Currently, we broadcast in every time zone in the world daily. Our program, Fixing the Money Thing, Drenda broadcast on the family thing, if you will. We call it, I call it family thing, the family. You got to fix the family thing to have the money thing fixed. Everything flows out of your marriage, right? So how did that happen, Gary? How did that happen? Well, I'm going to tell you. Number two, two things. you got to make a decision to stop using debt. Have you ever realized you can't get into debt unless you sign for it? You have to make a decision to stop signing debt papers. Number two, you have to learn how the kingdom of God operates because it's only the kingdom that provides enough that you won't have to use debt. It's another system. You have to learn how the other system operates. And we've been in financial ministry for 30, I don't know how long, and we've heard every story and seen every circumstance you can see. Trust me, we've seen it all. Probably one of the saddest, and I think I've mentioned this before, is the lady who called me and asked me to come to help her get out of debt. I go into her house, she pulls out a stack of 37 credit cards that are maxed out. I don't know how she got 37 credit cards. And this is back in history a ways when they're more lenient. But she had maxed them all out and now she's out of money. And so, okay, here, okay, we're gonna have to cut these cards up. And she burst into tears and says the most amazing statement, how am I going to buy shoes? Now you women may understand that shoes are more important than food, maybe, I don't know. But I'm thinking, what about survival? <laughs> shoes? <laughs> so yeah, hey. But she couldn't see that. She couldn't, she couldn't quite, her whole dependence was in that system. Another client I met uh, was telling me the story. He went to a retail store to use his credit card. His wife paid the bills, and so it always worked. This time it was declined. He was surprised because he just had given her the money to pay the bill the week before. He goes home and asks her about it. She pulls out from under the bed a shoebox full of 22 credit cards maxed out that she had acquired without him knowing it in his name. And since she was home before he was home, she would keep forging his name and keep living off the credit cards, that marriage ended in destruction. Finances has a great impact on your life, great impact on your marriage. Getting it right, you can get it right. Now here's your answer, go cold turkey. I'm serious, go cold turkey. 
you have to face the Red Sea. On the other side of the Red Sea is your freedom. But you have to face the Red Sea. Now, you remember the Red Sea experience. Remember Israel is coming out of Egypt. They're coming towards the Red Sea. There's mountains around them. Pharaoh is behind them, now pinning them against the sea. There is no hope, but God delivers them. Remember the Red Sea? They walk through the Red Sea. God delivers them. You have to see the God system. You have to stop leaning and trusting in the debt system and let God show you his deliverance and his system. And until you are at that point that I'm making a decision, you'll never see the God system show up. You have to make a decision. And we're going to talk about that as well today. So Haldron and I learned the kingdom. God said, learn the kingdom. Now, you've heard the story that after he spoke that to us, the van we had burned up. You may not know the story, but we drove an old clunker and it 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 had some problems. And I said, uh, after he said that to me, I said, out loud, maybe at best if the thing just burned up. When I said that, it burst into flames. That caught my attention. We were really happy about that old clunker burning up. Until that night, we realized we don't have a car. Deliverance is great, but having provision is better. Understand what I just said. You cannot live a life of deliverance, deliverance, deliverance. You know what I'm saying? A lot of Christians live from deliverance to deliverance to deliverance to deliverance. Provision is peace. Now, God is faithful. Praise God, he's faithful. We all need deliverance at times, but we really need to learn how to have provision and walk his way of living life so we don't have to have this constant turmoil of deliverance on a nonstop basis, right? Amen. So what do we do? So I called my dad. No, actually, he called me. He heard the van burned up. He said, let's go look for a Dodge Caravan because that's what burned up. I said, okay. My dad had enough money to pay cash for one. My brother's here. He'll test this story. He knows, you know, dad's generous. I was hoping he'd buy me one. I mean, I didn't have any money, right? I was hoping he'd buy me one. So we went looking at vans. We found one, and yeah, we like this one. And so dad says, well, I'll give you $5,000 towards the purchase of the van. It's an $18,000 van. It's not quite what I was hoping for. But my dad didn't really know my whole situation. He didn't know really how dire things were. So the salesman says, we'll spill an app out. And I just said, well, my credit's probably not really that good. <laughs> really not that good? It's like it was non-existent. <laughs> Dad says, well, I'll co-sign for it. So we filled the app out. They called and said they approved it based on my dad and come pick it up in the morning. So I went home. We were, that night, we could not sleep. The Lord just confronted me about this. I can't keep going this way. I know, how it, I know where it leads, into bondage and slavery and disappointment. I can't keep going that way. Drenda felt the same way. And in the morning we called and canceled the van. But now what? See, here's how we live, right? I need a van. I have no car, right? I have no van. So van with debt or no van? That's how you think, isn't it? That's what the devil tells you. Van with debt or no van. Is that right? And that's the place you find yourself. But there's another place you have to learn. And that is the Red Sea experience. God makes a way that's different. It's the, it's the way of freedom. He has a different system. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.